Got a relay driven ignition coil. There's the relay. And I have my uh, 2100 volt point seven. It's either point seventy or point seventy six. Um, let's see, yeah, point seventy six microfarad, um, twenty one hundred volt AC capacitor from a microwave. Got my uh, twelve volt ignition coil. Yes, this power supply, power supply is thirteen volts, and but it works all right. It's, thir it's actually 13.5 volts, but it's at 1.3 amps DC. Um, and I uh, got the relay also out of the microwave. This little trigger switch underneath here, also out of the microwave. Um, its maximum is about an inch spark gap. But it's uh, really effective up to like half an inch. Half an inch is pretty effective. Okay, let's put it at three quarters. Let's see what it does. That's feeding through my stereo. Sorry about that. So now let's try half an inch. And if you get it close enough to about two sixteenths of an inch, four four sixteenths of an inch, or two eighths, this goes pretty well. If you get it really close, I'll do a video later on tonight, but um, if you get really close, it starts making plasma. And uh, I guess uh, I'll make another night video showing what it does to light bulbs. I mean, I'll show you with the CSL light bulb, the compact fluorescent lights. Anybody doesn't know what a CSL is? Let me just hook this up real quick. Oh wow, that really uh, fucks with my camera. And also, it'll work if I put it on the glass. I oh, can't really see it as well. I'm going to put it a little bit further away from the electrode over here. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Oh yeah, it's funny too, this calculator over here goes crazy. Oh, it's on right now. Watch the calculator from the electromagnetic pulses from it. And it's just sitting next to the wires in the capacitor. Um, one of these things, like this little gaming thing, will turn on from the electromagnetic pulses. But uh, I guess I'll make another video later on tonight showing it. And no, you do not want to get hit by this because 1.3 amps. Six milliamps is enough to kill somebody, and this will kill you a few thousand times over, or about a thousand times over. <laughs> it's actually a powerful enough you can't really, but it's actually blowing through this pine wood uh, dresser I've got here. Um, and also another thing. Uh, Ah, uh, you little fucker. God fucking damn it. These wires never want to cooperate with me. <clears throat> they always want to be little bitches. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> yep. But uh, yeah, that's my ignition coil, and that's relay driver. Works pretty effectively. I like to make one that's not so uh, solid state, I guess, or not so mechanical. Probably get a 555 timer and uh, a 2N, I think it's 3506 transistor, I believe it is, MPN transistor, and make a true ignition coil driver where I can adjust the frequency and even possibly make a plasma speaker out of it. Um, I'd like to make it to where it's also, it also doesn't run on such high amperage, so that way it's actually safe to touch, because uh, right now it's lethal, so I have to be very careful with it, like I don't even, like you, like when I had my smaller power supply hooked to it, they were like 300 milliamps, and I, I got that by it, but it didn't really, it, it hurt, but it didn't really do anything to me, but um, I don't know if the full amperage is being converted out of the uh, high voltage or not, but all I know is it's 1.3 amps going in, and I'm not going to play with it, so I don't even hold the wire like I used to be doing with it, since I've got a bigger power supply, because I used to just hold the wire like this and just, like, drag it around and play with it and everything. I didn't even have a chicken stick for this. Um, I'm either going to play for it like I am now or use a chicken stick, because I don't really trust it. But, uh, yep, that's ignition cool, and I'll make a night video so y'all can see.